Over the first couple of uh, months of shooting, we did utilise um, a range of different camera rigging equipment, and one of them was a dolly, uh, which enables you to put the tripod and the camera on top of uh, a railing. What it enables you to do is it enables you to make the shot last a bit longer and to give more of a perspective of it. For example, uh, I think there was a couple of shots of outside of the building, which normally in a static shot would last a couple of seconds, but with a dolly shot was it able to last five, six seconds, doubling and tripling the amount of time that that subject appears on screen. We also used a crane, which gave us the opportunity to um, get above and beyond the the subject matter, again, more than what a camera could do. But when it came to the opening titles, we did we did want uh, a different look and a different feel uh, above and beyond what we had previously shot. We brought in a high-speed camera. High-speed camera enables you to record uh, a frame rate that's much higher than the standard 24, 25 frames per second. Two, one, action. <laughs> now what that enables you to do is two really important things. First is that you can slow the vision down and secondly it gives you, uh, it gives you a different look because you've got a thousand frames in that one second you've got an awful lot of information that's squashed into that small space in time so the high speed camera vision looks a lot different and that was perfect. We bought the camera in for a couple of days and we experimented on a range of things. All right, ready? And action. And over your face. Cut. Perfect. Perfect. We wanted the opening titles to be dynamic. So we chose a range of different um, movements that we felt were dynamic and physical. One of them was passing. Uh, the other was running. Righty. And action. Good. Should we try one more? And action. No, get it up. Better than that. One more, last one. To, you get last the big one. teddy at the show. Good to go? Yeah. And action. Oh, beautiful. Done. Right through on my mark. Rolling and go. We did want the opening titles to finish up on uh, on the ball, and we had in the trailer bounced the ball a couple of times, spun the ball a couple of times. We even had um, Sean, uh, who was supposed to be doing the camera work, uh, drop kicking the ball, but not many of the movements seemed to be, seemed to be succinct and, and relaxed and natural. So we ended up using the spinning of the ball because we kind of felt we wanted the Waratahs logo to remain in the screen for a bit longer than what we had initially intended and also the bouncing of the ball. Now, the, the great thing about the bounce of the ball is that you can see the ball being almost reshaped as it's bouncing up, and it also has this really fantastic sort of sprig of grass and dirt that comes up, which I think emphasises the the dynamicism of the of the of the of the movement. Another trick as well, which proved to be quite handy, is that you speed ramp some of your shots. Um, and there's one shot in particular I'm thinking of, and that's Drew when he's when he's lifting the bar up um, in the gym. He's lifting the bar up. We're shooting at 500, maybe 1,000 frames per second because it's very slow. But either side of that, you can then use the normal motion speed uh, to get him to a certain point and then slow it down. And what that emphasizes, I guess, is uh, how quick it, the movement is in normal time and how slow it is in, in slow motion time. So you put all those elements together and what you, what you tend to have is uh, something very dramatic. And then we just got our um, animator compositor genius, uh, Gavin Terrell, to add a little bit of sheen and uh, graphic effects to, to the mix and then it uh, turned out fantastic.